Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, we got a 2013 uh, Nissan Altima. We're doing an AC compressor. And uh, let's see what we got here. I'll show you what it's kind of like. So, you got two lines going in right here. You got two 10 millimeter bolts holding those in. You're just going to have four bolts on this to hold it in. So, got a plug on the top right here. Just push it right there. You got a plug on the bottom right here. You got four bolts, two on the bottom, two on the top. You just got to take your belt off. That's it. So I'm gonna start off up here, release the refrigerant. Uh, I mean, you're supposed to pull it out. You can just push that little little needle inside there and it'll come out, which is technically illegal. So don't let anybody see you. Uh, so down there, you see there's a, there's your line. There's a 10 millimeter bolt. Once you take that line out a little bit, let's see. You see that other one is a 10 millimeter bolt right there for the line right so there's your line and then you see right to the left there's another 10 right there you're going to take out those two tens i'm going to use a really long extension and take both of those lines out after i take those lines out then i'll probably come in from the top right here and uh take the two top bolts out uh by removing this right here uh, so you got a, let's see, a 10 millimeter bolt here and a 10 millimeter bolt right here. And then this should come right out. And then I can get in through the top. So I'm gonna do that right now. So yeah, it's just two 10 millimeter bolts right here. One right there, one over there. And then this whole intake uh, air duct router uh, comes out and you got plenty, you can see everything. And I just took out 110. And after you take that one out and just pull up on this line, you'll be able to see the other 10 millimeter bolt and you pull up that line. And then you see your two, uh, you see your two bolts right down there for the, uh, let's see. There's a bolt right there. And there's a bolt right there. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see. Uh, uh, we're gonna take those out, and then we can uh, start working from the bottom after that. Okay, so uh, I got this really long, uh, long neck ratchet and wrench helps you get down in the spots like this. But uh, I just want to show you. Okay, so that electrical connector right there. So, but, uh, I disconnected that one right there. Uh, you really only needed to disconnect the one on the top uh, because the one on the bottom of the uh, compressor, you're gonna disconnect from the bottom. So you just disconnect the one from the top right there uh, and that's it. Uh, I'll show you a little bit better um, when we get down on the bottom. So you're supposed to, uh, we're down here by the Passing the side wheel well. Um, supposed to be some clips holding in a shield so right here. Here, there's a few holes. Take those out, and then uh, that way, because we're gonna take it out right here. And uh, this is the uh, electrical connector I was talking about. Just push on that tab, or you can lift up this little piece right here. And then you got two 12 millimeter bolts down here. And then you want to uh, disconnect this right here, these little tabs, these little push, just take these out so you can move this line. And then you can take your compressor out right here. There might be one more tab back there. You want to disconnect back there and then it should come out right here. Uh, and that's it, you're done. That's it, then, then you're just gonna put it back in. Oh, I forgot to mention the belt. So this is a T45 Torx. Um, if you rotate it clockwise, it'll rotate back, but there's also... All right, so here's the old one right here. There's a new one. Like I said, on the bottom, there's a plug right there. So you don't have to disconnect that long plug from the top. Just get it from the bottom. 
Uh, if you do add oil, make sure you rotate the clutch slowly to add oil so that it sucks it down inside the compressor. Um, a lot of these compressors come with preloaded or pre-lubricated um, compressors though. Now on your lines, you're gonna have these O-rings, right? See, I just took this one just to get it out of the way. So it was down there, I just pulled it all the way up, stuck it out here, just to keep it out of the way. And uh, we're gonna take this O-ring and replace it. Same thing with your line down there, there's an O-ring on it, and you wanna replace it. So just take them off and uh, find a suitable replacement. Okay, just showing you one more time. So basically I got everything in, got two bottom bolts in, uh, and then, uh, you know, I had the belt off right here, and I got my 17 on. You're gonna take it like that and rotate it counterclockwise. It's a whole lot easier than using that T45. And just like that, and your belt will slack. All right. It's a 17 millimeter on the top. You put your plate back on. Now you can recharge it with Freon. I already got everything hooked up back up here. Put your bottom line in first, then put your top line in. Then you just got your electrical connector. <clears throat> then you put your air duct back in here, slide it in. Now you can do this last. You ain't need, matter of fact, you can leave that off. Just go ahead and recharge it. That way you can see if anything's leaking. Just go ahead and crank it up. Start recharging right here until you get the right amount of uh, Freon. And then put your uh, put your uh, shield back on and everything. Make sure they ain't got no leaks. Okay, this is a 2013 Nissan Altima AC compressor. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.